I have a signed check by Babe Ruth for two rows of seats for the 1937 World Series. The Sultan of Swat. This guy lived the American dream. This guy was an orphan. And he went from nothing to, you know what? He probably had more fans than the president. <laughs> ball ball. I think everybody's a Babe Ruth fan, and it's one of the most sought after signatures. I'm looking to get around uh, $8,000 for this piece. Probably the least I would take for this, maybe around $4,500, possibly. Now, one thing that, you know, puts a doubt in my head that it's for tickets. I just can't imagine that they would make him pay for seats. You know, they call it the house that Ruth built, but yet he had to buy his own seats for the World Series. You would assume he should be able to get any damn thing he wanted. Because it's $481.70. That's a little odd. World Series seats were expensive, but back then they priced them. These are three bucks, these are four bucks, these are five bucks, these are 10 bucks. It's sort of hard to come to that figure buying seats. But it's endorsed by the Yankees World Series fund too. He went to the World Series game one and two, he bought seats. Okay, how do we know it was for um, rows of seats? That's what it said in the description. <laughs> and oh, we have the PSA. Correct. All right, and it's signed by Steve. He's a friend of mine. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is the company right. he works for. He works right. for PSA, sure. and he does this stuff all the time. How much you want for it? Um, I'd like to get 10000 <sighs> That sounds like a lot, to tell you the truth. Looked at a lot of Ruth's signatures throughout the years in my collections. I know what I've paid for items. Um, but this is so special due to the fact it's just the point that he had to buy his own seats. That's just crazy to me. And, you know, it, it, it might boost the price up. It might. To 10000 I don't know. Let me call my buddy Steve, the, the, the actual guy who signed this report. That's great. I'm going to give him a call. Let me get him in here. He'll take a look at this thing, and he'll help me figure out a price. Do you mind? Oh, no problem. OK, no problem. I will be right back. OK. Well, here's the check I was telling you about. And the piece of paper you signed. Wow. OK. <laughs> OK. You want to verify your signature? <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> well, this is it. Pretty interesting. It's a check written by Babe Ruth to the New York Yankees. And this guy says that it was for World Series tickets. You guys mind if I take a look at this? Go ahead. When I look at the check, you know, just looking at aesthetically, the one thing that kind of kills it for me is the stamp. You've got the stamping over part of the signature. Signature would grade about a 7 right now. You want a signature to grade a 10. All right, so the big question is, how do we know it was for um, rows of seats? You don't know for sure. And do you want to take a leap of faith? It's up to you. That's not up to me. Um, no, I, I, it's, uh, you, you know me. It's all about facts and money. He wants $10,000 for it. And I just think that's a really big number for something like this. I think that $10,000 mark is pretty high. Um, does it add anything that it was to the New York Yankees? Doesn't that? Tell you something that it was for the World Series? There's still nothing saying it was for tickets. Given the fact of where the checks are at right now and where I see them sell every day, I'd say you're talking a ballpark value about $4,000. Good luck. Thanks, man. Thanks. Good to see you. All right. Thanks. Nice seeing All you. All right. Take care. $10,000 is pretty steep just for a Babe Ruth check. I sure hope he's not upset about it. And I also think the guy needs to get a haircut. <laughs> So do you still want 10 grand? Well, I was asking a lot. Um, what, he, what he said did make sense. How much do you want for it? I'd like to go seven. It's just, just not going to happen. I mean, there's no way I would, I would buy it five. off. Five. There's no way I'm going to buy it off you for five and sell it for well, you tell 35 me. or four. I mean, I'll give you 2,500 bucks for it. Ouch. Um, no, I don't want to go 25. I'll go 25. I mean, that's the most realistic price I can give you. 27? No. Ow. <laughs> $2,500 is a fair, fair price. All right. OK, okay. All fine. Right. Okay. I'm good. All right. Um, I'll meet you right up front. OK. I sure thought he was going to negotiate. I was really surprised that he didn't move at all on that figure. $2,500. Right. You robbed me. Didn't rob you. <laughs> all right, have a good one, man. That really shocked me. Uh, I really wasn't thinking logically. If I could go back and do it, I would have probably said uh, no. I would have said no. Wow. This thing is nice. This is a casting out. 
This is like one of the holy grails of American coins. I'll do 95 and that's it. No, I don't think so. I think I'm gonna take it home.